kill me! Don't kill me, man! I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on your face, neck, and chest. And man, oh man, I am so pumped to see Michael Keaton come back as Batman. But not only that, I'm excited to, I'm excited to see an older Michael Keaton. I'm excited to see an older Bruce Wayne because this is something that we've never seen before. We've never seen a Bruce Wayne who is completely past his prime, a Bruce Wayne in his 60s who still wants to be Batman but physically can't. Again, I, this is so reminiscent of Batman Beyond where the first episode, I think it's titled Rebirth, where we see an older Bruce Wayne still out there, still patrolling the streets, still in a Batman costume, but he can't do it anymore because again, he's past his prime. And Michael Keaton is such a fantastic actor that I think he can absolutely pull off the 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 internal struggle of wanting to be Batman but physically can't do it anymore and that realization of him coming to terms with his own mortality of being an older Batman of being an older Bruce Wayne and still at heart wanting to do what's right and wanting to be the Batman forever I th shout out to Joe Schumacher <laughs> Batman forever but I think that is what really is going to be so intriguing to see an older Bruce Wayne. And, and again, Michael Keaton is, is a fantastic actor that I, I just can't wait to see what he brings to the role. And not only that, the fact that we have to remember, this Bruce Wayne is hasn't seen anything of, you know, of, of the Justice League sort, right? He's the only superhero in his universe, in his world. He's the only one. There is no Justice League. There is no Superman. There is no Flash. There's no Wonder Woman. There's nothing. He's the only one that's been, you know, superheroing, superheroing, uh, superheroing it up for like decades and decades. And the fact that he's going to be introduced to Ezra Miller's Flash a you know a meta human who can do impossible things that this Bruce Wayne has never seen before has never dealt with before because all all Bruce Wayne has seen in his universe is the Joker Penguin and Catwoman nothing supernatural in the sort and nothing you know on the cosmic scale that he's about that he's about to you know uh, be introduced to especially like w with the concept of the multiverse like this Bruce Wayne is going to be so over his head. And so, like, what the hell is going on? That and that's where the comedic element is going to come in. And, and obviously, Michael Keane is a brilliant comedic is a brilliant com comedic actor. So his expression of just seeing a meta human and and being introduced to the concept of, of the multiverse is going to be fucking hilarious. Because, like I said, he's never been introduced to any of this before. This is this is a whole brand new ball game that Michael Keane's Bruce Wayne is going to be in introduced to. And I can't wait to see the I can't wait to see how he handles that and to see the relationship that he has with Ezra Miller's Flash, especially since Ezra Miller is going to explain to him like, hey, there's another Batman who's still Batman <laughs> and you're not it. And especially says Michael Keane's going to be like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm the only Batman. And, and Ezra Miller's Flash is going to be like, uh, no, you're not, bro. <laughs> and that's the fun dynamic that, you know, Ezra Miller and Michael Keaton is going to have, hopefully, in the film. And, and, and I truly hope that they really delve deep into that. And to see an older Bruce Wayne who can't do it anymore, but maybe he built a, a suit like this, like something that's reminiscent to the Kingdom Come suit, where even though he can't be... Batman physically, like putting on the cowl and the bat suit, but he could still, you know, do something mobily with, with a mechanical suit. I think I think that would be really fantastic, and I really hope the director Andy can really uh, showcase something like sh showcase something similar to a, to a Kingdom Come Batman suit, or maybe he can introduce you know a young Ward at the end we, where they have like you know a, a final end scene with you know Barry and Michael Keaton's Batman and Barry leaves and then we see from the shadows a young kid walking up to Bruce Wayne is like hey who the hell was that and Michael Keaton's be like don't worry about it we got work to do and of course you know 
if if they do something like that, the hardcore Batman fans would be like, oh my god, that's Terry McGinnis, that's Batman Beyond. They're actually gonna do it. They're setting up Batman Beyond for the future. That would be amazing. That'd be really cool. But I, again, I don't know if they're gonna do that, but that's that's what I would do if I was directing, if I was directing this fucking movie. That's exactly what I would do. But again, I, even though I'm excited for the Flash, I'm excited for the multiverse. But what really is getting me excited is to really delve deep into the complexity of this. Batman of Michael Keaton's Batman, See, seeing an older Bruce Wayne who can't be Batman anymore, who's barely trying to be Batman, but physically can do it, and really delve into the psyche of what it's like to be introduced not only to the Flash, but the whole multiverse concept, and what does that do for this Bruce Wayne's Batman, you know, going forward, knowing that, hey, there are multiple Batmans, there are multiple Supermans, there's a whole multiverse out there. Like, like you are a small fish in a big pond. And what does that do to the psyche of this current uh, Bruce Wayne with Michael Keane's Bruce Wayne? I think it's just fascinating to see. And I really hope they dub it. I really hope they delve deep into it. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Smash that like button, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. Let's continue having a DC conversation as always. Support DC, love DC. And if you're excited to see Michael King come back as Batman, let me know down in the comments below because me, I'm excited. And I'm really, oh, I just can't wait to see Michael King come back as Batman and be the true Batman. Oh, I can't wait. And as always, truth out.